We all have that urge inside of us to defy death and take on risky activities at one point or another, but the rides on this list will surely make the Grim Reaper take notice. Here are the most dangerous rides you can do at your own risk. Zorbing Zorbing is the sport of rolling downhill inside a giant orb. They come in many varieties, from the rider being tightly tucked into it or loosely just flailing around inside the ball. One such tragic accident occurred at a ski resort in southern Russia when a Zorb rolled uncontrollably down a hill and flew off the cliff before finally resting on the lake below. There were two riders. The 27-year-old Denis Barakov died from a broken neck and spine, while 33-year-old companion Vladimir Sherbov suffered from a concussion and multiple lacerations. The accident forced vacation resorts to reconsider their safety protocol on large objects like Zorbs. Whitewater rafting. Whitewater rafting has been a favorite when it comes to outdoor water sports. Each river is stamped at the class level, with one being the easiest and progressively getting more difficult as the number rises. With whitewater rafting, there's a high risk of the raft overturning, and if you're under the raft, there's a potential to get trapped and drowned. There's also the risk of hitting rocks as you float down the river, or there's also a risk of inhaling a brain-eating amoeba into your head, which is exactly what happened to an 18-year-old who visited the U.S. National Whitewater Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wingsuit Diving since the inception of wingsuit diving, which is the sport of gliding through the air with just a wingsuit after jumping from a high altitude, there have been accidents that have been both serious and fatal. Since 1963, there have been countless fatal accidents from parachutes not opening in time to hitting debris, railings, and mountainsides from lack of control with wind changes. For example, Eli Thompson died on August 28, 2009 after he hit the side of a mountain while wingsuit diving in the Swiss Alps. Helicopter Skiing It is considered to be one of the most dangerous sports in the world. Essentially, helicopter skiing is skiing on terrains that aren't accessible to a ski lift, but instead accessible only by helicopter. This means that you're skiing on rugged terrain that hasn't been checked or marked off. This means that whatever hill you're going down, it's up to you to make those snap decisions to keep yourself safe. Canadian mountain holidays bring people to the Bugaboo Mountains regularly for their hella skiing adventures. But in 1991, nine people died after an avalanche came down upon a group of 12 skiers. Bonsai Skydiving It's technically not a ride, but you are riding the wind to get to your parachute. You're in a plane at 10,000 feet in the air, you throw out your parachute, wait two seconds, and then jump after it. The skydiver isn't even wearing a parachute, but instead you are just chasing it. There is a special core that keeps the skydiver attached to their backpack, but accessing it in time is tricky. There are other variations where the skydiver will hold the backpack and then hang from the released parachute. Volcano Park Zipline Located in Costa Rica, this zipline takes you on a rushing two-mile ride that puts you over the Arenal Volcano Park. Did we mention that this volcano is active? It technically hasn't erupted since 1984, but you can never tell when a major explosion could happen. Besides the volcano, you can see birds flying and monkeys jumping around trees, and you have access to nature at its finest. Motocross Just by itself, motorcycle riding is dangerous on its own due to the lack of metal protection around the rider while cruising on the road. But then, that wasn't enough. Soon after, the sport of motocross was created, and now you have sharp turns and 30-foot jumps to conquer while riding the bike. With a death toll of 1 in 1,000, one can imagine the amount of injuries that take place from motocross alone. In December of 2014, a 12-year-old boy who was described as an adrenaline junkie died after he lost control of his bike from a 15-foot jump on a track in Rockdale, England. Villarica Volcano Bungee Jump Bungee jumping is dangerous enough as it is, as you can jump off from a bridge or building and then a cord snaps you back like a rubber band and you're at the mercy of the band and the equipment holding you up. In Pucan, Chile, jumping off a bridge or a solid foundation is just too boring. Instead, you're bungee jumping from a helicopter over an active volcano. Jumping from an altitude of 10,000 feet isn't that scary, except when you're diving straight into the volcano's crater and ending up a foot away from molten lava. Hang gliding. Yes, you heard that right. Hang gliding is one of the most dangerous rides you can do at your own risk. 
With a death rate of 1 in 1,000, much like motocross, hang gliding doesn't give much protection the higher up you go. With nothing but a harness and a non-motorized aircraft and the wind keeping you up, there is a lot that could go wrong from your hang gliding adventure. In May of 2016, a man was killed in a hang gliding accident in Lake County, Florida, less than 100 feet away from the company Quest Hang Gliding. Thanks for watching this video, folks. Let us know in the comments which one of these is the one you want to try the most. I won't lie, bungee jumping into a volcano sounds amazing. Anyway, while you're here, check out these other videos, subscribe to The Riches for more awesome content every day, and hey, thanks.